Hi guys, welcome back to another video on a miserable Monday morning. The whack has had a clean. A bit of maintenance this morning, grease up. That's ready to go back out to site this afternoon. Just having a bit of a general tidy up and catch up down the yard. Boys are putting through a few logs. Had to sort out of the chip. The chips there ready to go. Ian and Brad have cleaned all the drains out for the clamps. Keep all that running nice and smooth. So we are just trying to have a bit of a tidy up. We've cleared a bit of space in here. Just going to have a scrape up of all the bits on the floor. Lump the logs up. sunshine now. We had torrential rain this morning, bouncing off the tarmac so it's a bit wet up here. You can see them down here cracking on. The spec is eight meters. Um, again like our last one down in West Sussex, just opening up the rides, letting a bit more light in. We're going to work our way down here, taking all the timber out the brash is getting stacked in dead hedges for a bit of habitat so that will stay on site see if we can get a safe position to have a look at the boys and see what they're up to dragon they're getting on that's all right getting there This is what the rides are starting like. They're not too overgrown as it is, but um, I believe they've got a grant to get these widened off. You can kind of see the contrast there, the daylight coming in. I'll do a bit of a walk around video later on when they've made a bit more progress. Now, the one massive thing we're battling with up here is general public. Um, there's footpaths everywhere and it's quite a, quite a well-known walking spot. You can see we've got little paths coming out, and you can see that tape there. But we're just trying to cordon this off in zones. But the boys are saying this morning we've already had a runner and two walkers blatantly just walk straight into the work zone. We've got cones, we've got signs, we've got tape out, everything's blocked off. But there still seems to be some brain cells missing in people that think it's acceptable to walk straight in. So. It's going to be a tough one for the boys just to stay stay aware and make sure we haven't got anyone in any places of danger so yeah hopefully people start using their eyes and their brains and stop entering places they shouldn't but you know we can't teach stupid at the end of the day and i'd say it's pretty clear that 
we don't go up here, but some people would say that is not clear enough and wander through anyway. What do you reckon? So while we had all that torrential rain this morning, um, Ben and I spent a couple of hours in the office just going through um, a bit of financial stuff. Uh, we're just looking at running costs, um, how much it's costing us to run the business as it is, if there's any areas that we need to look at and pay attention to that aren't kind of covering covering the cost as such or not making the profit it needs to make and just kind of making a plan of action for next year already to see where we can take the business and what kind of areas and aspects we want to look at. I think it's quite important to stay on top of this and not ignore it because you can find yourself in some difficult times which we have done. Hold my hands up, we've got carried away at points and probably spent a bit more than we need to and not kept an eye on what's coming in and going out so um, we're trying to make a very good point of keeping uh, a note of everything that goes on, keeping an eye on what everything's making and yeah just, just making sure we're in a good place really because we're enjoying what we're doing and we don't want it to go wrong. Yeah, a little bit of behind the scenes of it and what we have to get up to on a day to day just to keep this running smoothly and correctly. Even put a brash barrier across the path here, so if anyone does get this far, that is another please turn around, go away, stop being silly. Uh, all are trying to do everything they can to keep everyone safe, that's the main thing at the end of the day. Everyone's got to stay safe. <laughs>
noise a bit here. I don't know if you can hear this, but um, just having a bit of a sort out. We've got a chipper coming in to do a load of cordwood as they don't want to do the arb waste. So I'm just going to pull out everything cordy as much as we can to get as much product out of the session. So we've got our little timber trailer on the back of the Bobcat. Our deal for this sort of stuff. This means I can pull it out and move it over to the cordwood pile. Ready to have a sort of it.
So you might remember this one from a couple of weeks ago. It's where the bandit broke. Been back in today. First day back for the bandit. Taken 235 yard bins out. We've got two canter loads. And we're just finishing off. Stacking up ready for tomorrow morning. So we're to come up first thing. Fire. Fire into the trailer first thing and run a load. And then finish fell in the last few. Storm, and now the sun's come back out but that's all of them on the deck and they're just stuck up and get ready for Monday final chipping day I reckon we've got one more trailer load in it and then that's all done so it's Friday we're nearly done got a load of rain which isn't ideal but we'll push on we're not going to shrink uh, so we're just trying to wrap up this side and bowling where we're filling the conifers i'm now on my way back down there for four fourth or fifth fifth bin load i think so these bins are about 27 q i think yeah, probably chipped. An Arctic and a half. There's a fair bit of gear coming out of here and we've probably got two more loads down here, so I think we might be back on it Monday. Try and get it wrapped up. But that'll be another one done, which is nice. 
Banditron in Sweet. So, yeah, that's been a good week. All the old lads have been busy. Um, as you've probably just seen, the forestry stuff is going well with the ride widening project. That's looking really nice up there. Um, yeah, well impressed with the boys of that. So, yeah. Enjoying a weekend. We've got a, a big fundraiser tomorrow for a close friend. So, a few of the boys will be down at that, have a few beers and hopefully raise a bit of money. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.